Hello everyone, how are you? This is Luca from Akepa Sony and we are going to make a little demonstration of the Dragon Fighters fighting cards. How will we do that with a little match between Zhang Ru and Corrupted Yan Su? These are two demo characters you can download with the Quick Start Guide free from Drive Through RPG. Now, both of the players will have the six basic action cards. These are the Super Technique, Block, Dodge, Throw, Special Technique and Normal Attack. Normal Attack, Special Technique and Super are attacks. Dodge and Block are Defense and this is a Throw. These are different kind of cards. The same number of cards in the hand of the play of the anime player. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, so first thing we have to do is draw four cards from our decks. These decks are different from for each player. The player gets to decide which cards he will put inside of his deck so that it is customized to make his fighter stronger. Of course, in the demo decks that you can find on Drive to RPG, you will find only a limited number of cards so that you can create identical decks, but in the complete game you will find tons of different cards. So we draw four cards because we always have we always need to have ten cards in our hands. One, two, three, four, and the six action cards. The numbered cards are called frame cards. This is a strong punch and this is a low kick. Then there are the effect cards. You can see them that because they have a black frame around them. This is stun and this is recover. Of course, I don't tell the enemy which cards I have. Same for the enemy. One, two, three, four. He also has some frame cards. If he didn't, he would have to um, shuffle and draw again from the, his deck because you always have to start fighting with at least one frame card in your hand. Who will start? Let's define it with the initiative. So, Jean Ru will play a covered number card like this. Same thing for the opponent. He's gonna play this one, Middle Punch. Okay, now that we played our number cards, one, two, three, we reveal the cards and let's sum this to the rapidity. Five, because it's three plus two, and this is three plus three. So Hyunsu will start. We discard these cards next to the deck. This is the discard pile. Now Hyunsu will start, but both characters will gain immediately a number of, rapid, uh, of action points equal to the rapidity. One, two, and three action points. You have to put this card covered with the clear side up. As you can see in this way, this is the action points pile. Yonsu has three rapidity too, so three action points put in this way. It's his turn. He can have a look at his hand and decide what to play. He needs to play an action card or an effect card that acts like an action card if he, if he had one, but he doesn't. So what will he do? He wants to get closer to his enemy and attack, but he only needs to play a hidden card. He doesn't have to, to tell his enemy that he's going to get next to him, because every match starts with the characters far away from each other. This way, the enemy doesn't know what kind of move I'm going to make. I will stay distant and when I will reveal my action card, I will say that I needed to advance and get next to him. Now, what will Jean Ru do? Not knowing what will the opponent do, she decides to play um, a block because she thinks that it's very likely for corrupted Yansu to try and attack her since his special points gaining method is hectic meaning that with this red axe that you can see on his character card 
he will try to make combos. She placed the card hidden. Then, one, two, three, we reveal our cards. Block wins against normal attack, but block only costs zero, zero action points, but it absorbs damage. It doesn't avoid complete damage. So, we still need to play our cards. Now, after the action card, there is the resolution phase in which we have to play a numbered card. Yonsu has two criticals. He will play one hidden. Janru will absorb with another number card. She only has strong punch, so she will play that. She needs to play that. Now, one, two, three, let's reveal them. And as you can see, the critical instantly gives you uh, a special point. So, Hyunsu will draw one card, put it with the dark side up next to his character card, and this is a special point. Also, we need absolutely to spend our action points. One, to advance, you take the action point and put it in your hand, and one for a normal attack. Take the action point and put it in, and put it in your hand. Same thing for Jean Ru. She has zero, she has to spend zero action points, so she does nothing. Now, how much damage does Corrupted Yansu deal? It's 7 plus his attack, 10. Jean Ru will absorb defense, 1 plus 5, 6. So she only takes 4 damage. Now let's discard our frame cards and take back in our hands the action cards. Okay. Hyunsu still didn't pass and the two opponents are close to each other. So Hyunsu still gets to play another action card. What can he play? He decides to go for a throw. He can, even if the throw costs two action points because he has one plus one special point he can use to, to do that, to perform a throw. So he plays it hidden and Jean Ru thinks that Corrupted Yansu has too few action points to do something interesting. So she tries to, to dodge because maybe he's going to do to perform a normal attack. One, two, three, let's reveal our cards. There we go. It's a, a throw against a dodge. Throws always wins against defenses, both block and dodge. So, first of all, let's spend our action points. Shavu will draw the stun card and one action point for dodge. While corrupting Yansu will, will draw an action point and a special point. These are two frame cards. Yansu decides to, to use the stun card because it says that it connects after an, an attack, any kind of attack that uh, has hit the opponent and that the opponent needs to um, discard four of his cards. Of course, when we say discard cards, we're not talking about action cards, only about the other cards, because the six action, action cards are always in your hand and never be to be discarded. She only has three cards, she needs to discard all of them. Now, how much damage does he want to deal? He has to play a numbered card. He has this critical, he will play that too. It's a critical, he gets immediately a special point and deals 7 plus 3, 10, plus one more damage from the fall down symbol. So 11 damage, less one of defense from Jean, it's 10 damage. Let's discard our cards. He hit with a another combo point and he can gain another special point 
because it gains special points by performing combos. Let's get back the action card in our hand and let's go. Hyunsu has his zero action points, so he needs to pass. It's Jean Ru's turn. She only has the six basic action points in her hand. She will draw four more cards. One, two, three, and four. Except super speed. These are all framed cards. Now she also, uh, if it wasn't her first turn, she would also gain more action points equal to her rapidity. But since this is the first turn, she doesn't draw more action points again. She gets to play a card. She will play, let's see. She will try to play a block. Not because she wants to do something, even if it's her attack turn, but because she wants to perform some sort of a um, feint. Okay? The enemy may not foresee this move. So, since Yansu has zero action point and he's on defense, he can spend as many action points as he wants by discarding cards from his deck. Therefore, he decides to perform a special technique. It's a counter-attack. So even if he's on defense, he can perform a special. One, two, three, let's reveal our cards. Okay, it's a block against a special. Block wins. What kind of special will Corrupted Yansu use? He gets to choose it now. He chooses to use the Rising Darkness because it only costs two action points. Since he has known, he has to discard two cards for each action point. There we go, directly discarded. If the deck gets to zero cards, the time is out and the character with most life points will win. Now, uh, since it, this is a block, we still have to play the frame cards to deal damage. We will play them hidden, of course, I would play this, and Jabru would play this. Okay? One, two, three, let's reveal our cards. She has a critical, so in, she immediately gains a special point. She absorbs seven plus one, eight damage. And Yonsu will deal three, multiplied for two, because it's a special point, six plus six, 12 damage. 12 plus 8 is 4 damage dealt, even if the technique was blocked. We discard our cards, of course, keep track of your life points on a piece of paper with a pencil or whatever, and we get our action cards back in our hands. We are still not done. Jean Ru doesn't want to pass, so we, she will play another card. Hyunsu tried a counter attack. So she will play a normal attack. Hyunsu's turn. What can he play? He doesn't know what will Jean Ru do, so he will play a counter attack, a normal counter attack. He thinks that maybe the player using Jean Ru will not expect him to attack twice in a row, even if he was blocked. So one, two, three, let's reveal our cards. It's normal attack against normal attack. In this case, what do we do? First, we spend the action points. It's one action point for the counter attack. So one, two, and one action point for the attack. One and two. He's discarding cards at a very high speed. What will Jean Ru do? She will spend her action point, only one, for the normal attack. And it's a very fast frame card. Now we have to play frame cards to see which attack will connect. Which one will connect? The fastest one. So, if you play a very low frame card, 
you're like mm, you're likely to hit but if you play a higher frame card you will deal more damage let's see he can play he can play for example this one it's a very low card he thinks this will surely connect unless Jean Ru has a uh, frame number one now let's reveal our cards one two three and in fact Jean Ru's attack costs one action point plus one it's two frames corrupted Yan Su counteractor costs one action point plus two so three the fastest one is Jean Ru's attack she deals three plus one for damage the counter attack of Yan Su doesn't work at all we discard our cards Hyunsu has one in defense, so he gets three damages. Since her special uh, points gaining method is the flame, she gains one special point because when you have the flame, you get one special point every each three damage you deal. It's still her turn. She will connect, which she will chain her move, spending a special point. She gets it from the special point pile in her hand and she performs, let's see, a special technique, Tomoinage. Of course, she doesn't say what she's going to play. And before doing that, sorry, we had to take back her action cards in our hands. Also, when you take back action cards in your hand, try to shuffle them a little bit so that they are not predictable so that the opponent doesn't know what card will you play next. What will Hyunsu do? Since he received some attacks, he will try to go for a throw. Maybe a throw will work this way, this time. I know. Ah, I win. What will Hyunsu do? He has the chance to spend two special points to combo break if he wants but he doesn't want to waste the special points this way so he will let Jean Ru attack we only reveal her card it's a special technique she's using Tomoe Nage so she spends one action point and one um, special point she takes them put them in her hand and plays a numbered card. Since Yeon Su didn't defend, she can reveal that card. It's a critical, she gains a special point, and she deals three multiplied for two, six plus seven, 13 damage, less one, 12 damage. Now, 12 damage means that she gets four special points immediately. One every three damage she deals. <clears throat> okay, of course the enemy has been thrown in the air too, but this has no meaning now because I don't have action points to connect anymore. So, Shavu needs to pass, let's discard the frame card and take back in her hand the special technique card. Now it's Yon sister, and what does he do? First thing, he gains three action points because he has three in Rapidity. How many cards does he have in his hand? Only two that are not action cards, so he needs to draw two cards first. Now let's do for the let's go for the last round. He decides to play a normal attack. Or rather a special technique. Since he can. Janru has no action point, but as we said, she can perform any move. She will use Super Velocity, which is an effect card that is used instead of dodging. If it works, until the end of the round, each action you will perform will cost one less frame, which, is, which means it becomes faster. One, two, three, let's reveal our cards. And here we go. Special technique fails against a super velocity with is a sort of dodge. Nevertheless, 
Hyunsu has to spend his action points. How many? He would say he used the Raising Darkness, so he only needs to spend two action points. He takes them from the action points pile and puts them in their hands. Now, uh, she has to spend one action point too. Since she, ha she has known, she will discard two cards, one and two. She wins. Super Velocity is not discard because it's better to keep it here until the end of the round so that we remember that all of Jean Bru's moves will cost one less frame. And instead, Hyunsu will take his special card back in his hand. Since the attack didn't go well, Hyunsu will pass. He will keep this action point and in the next round, if he didn't spend it, he will gain more action points that are going to be summed to this. Okay, so this is it for a quick exchange of moves between these two fighters. Hope you like it a lot as we do. We are live on Kickstarter with Dragon Fighter and which it, with each pledge you will get um, the, the full fighting cards deck. This is included in every pledge level, so please support us Let's make Dragon Fighter a reality. Let's fight. See you next time.